From the front page of the Yonker Statesman, September 14, 1916. Headline, Car Services Being Improved. Despite the maintenance of regular schedules on the subway and elevated lines of the Interborough and the gradual restoration of service on surface lines, the strike leaders declare today that they were far from being defeated. They hinted the danger of a sympathetic strike was not over yet. The traction officials announced the subway and elevated service is better than normal, while the surface service is only 25 to 40 percent below normal. In a related story, the first of what is expected to be a number of bus lines in the lower part of the county to compete with the trolley was incorporated this morning in Mount Vernon. Headline, French Repulse Counterattacks. The French have paused in their advance north of Peron, where they have driven a fatal distance of six miles into the German lines since July 1st, when the Somme offensive began, and are now withstanding a series of German attacks. The assaults were delivered last night against the new French positions north and south of the Somme, but were fruitless for the Germans, the French War Office declared. The Entente Allies apparently are not pressing the offensive on the right of the Saloniki position, and the British, who advanced across the Struma, are reported as being withdrawn to the West Bank. The Serbians, however, are continuing the pressure against the Bulgarians along the western end of the line. Headline Training in the New York Schools The regents of the University of the State of New York in session today in Syracuse received the final recommendations of the State Military Training Commission on the courses of instruction in physical training to be introduced in all the schools of the state in accordance with legislation passed this year. John H. Finley, Commissioner of Education, in asking the regents to adopt the program outlined by the commission, said in part, quote, The program presented to you today is probably the most comprehensive program of health education and physical training for school children ever authorized by the government of any state or country, and if adopted and put into effective operation, it will without doubt determine the lines along which physical education is to proceed in this country where the states must meet the nation's needs in training for the responsibilities of citizenship. What is here presented is a program for universal physical training, health education, and patriotic discipline. It is a program for strengthening the physical foundations in which our higher intellectual and spiritual curriculums are to find support. As interpreted by the Military Training Commission, physical training covers medical inspection, talks and recitations and hygiene, and all forms of healthful physical exercise such as setting up drills, gymnastic exercises, supervised recreation, organized play, group dancing, athletics, and a great variety of individual recreational activities. Unquote. And that's the news from Yonkers 100 years ago today.